Look at my duck. She's so upset. You know why she's upset? Yep. Look at it. Too late to save the egg. I know, Whoopi. I know, sweetie. Oh, I know, baby. It's a Gila monster. We really can't mess with the Gila monsters, can we? I know, baby. I know, sweetie. I can't make it go. Whoopi, he's got your leg. Yes, he's got your egg. There's nothing we can do. He's eating it. What are you going to do, Whoopi? You know, that animal can hurt you very badly. Whoopi, you better stay back. Very dangerous. But she knows. She's dealt with these guys so many times. This one just doesn't care. Does it care about me? Does it care about her? Get a little closer. I know, I know, baby. I know, baby. I know, sweetie. I know, baby. It's too late for your egg. For your egg. But you can't get it. You got it on your head, you silly thing. What are you going to do with that now? I gave, I gave Whoopi something to entertain herself. I gave her some, some greens in her pool. So that will distract her for a while. Remarkably, this Gila monster is the exact same lizard that appeared in my very first Gila monster video, Gila monster in the wild sighted on April 29th, 2007, so we know she's at least six years old. I'm sure it's her because of the markings on her head. She's my avatar photo. So I took the photo and I turned it upside down to match this clip, enlarged the head, and the markings are identical. This is the ninth video in my Gila Monster playlist. The third one, Gila Monster's Journey, contains educational narrative all about them, their habitat, what they eat, and so on. The seventh video, Viva the Night for Gila Monster Lovers, highlights their remarkable contribution to medicine. Turns out their venom contains an important substance that when synthesized, enables a groundbreaking treatment for diabetes. Yes, remember that the Gila monsters are one of only two or three species of lizards that are venomous. My eighth or last video, Gila Monster vs. Duck, tongue in cheek, is also about another Gila monster that my duck, Whoopi, discovers in her pen. But he wasn't eating her eggs. I named him Happy and initially thought this was him returning, but it wasn't.
Now this is funny. I'd sat there for almost an hour at least when it finally looked like this lizard was on the go. But no, she decides to turn around and go see if there are any more eggs. This is not Zoom. This is my hand. But you can see how docile they are. They're just laid back. They won't hurt you at all, as long as you don't mess with them. But I want to remind my viewers that it is illegal in the state of Arizona to touch them, to try to pick them up, to harass them, even to breed them sell them unless you have a license. Number one here is such a gorgeous and healthy girl. Again, I think it's female because of her thick neck. Male Gila monsters have bigger heads in proportion to their bodies and thus thinner necks. Hey, sweetie, you can come this way. I'm not going to hurt you. And this will be proof that the other monsters do not attack. Unless you harass them. This thing is just right by me. Going right behind me. See, here's my walking stick. I'm letting them get a chance to go escape. He's leaving the pen. You know, let him escape. There he goes. Pretty boy. What? What? Pretty boy. Here he comes, Ruby. Look at this. Look at this. She said, oh, he's going to pat fast now. I know, I know. Yes, I know. I see the other monster is leaving. back to his burrow. That's why I'm following him. Oh, look at him go. Okay, bye-bye. Go into the neighbor's property. Our baby's gonna hold up over the under the creosote bush. So I know I am so lucky and so blessed and so grateful. I hope to see her again someday. <laughs>